Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. The Swift Current United Way has launched its annual fundraising campaign with a goal of $100,000 for 2018. The campaign kickoff included a breakfast presentation at the event center of the Living Sky Casino. Back in Swift, everybody's used to all our horns, but like when we go to all the road games, they, they're, they're not a fan. As the Swift Current Broncos made their way to the Memorial Cup this year for the first time since 1993, and a legion of local hockey fans were in the stands cheering them on. As the temperatures heat up for another summer season, skin safety should be top of mind for all ages. Thanks for joining us here today. The Swift Card United Way helps numerous agencies in the community, and it's kicked off its annual campaign. The Swift Current United Way has launched its annual fundraising campaign with a goal of $100,000 for 2018. The campaign kickoff included a breakfast presentation at the event center of the Living Sky Casino. Stacy Schwartz is the executive director for the Swift Current United Way and explains the theme of this year's event. So the theme was Rise Up and Speak Out About Addiction and it's kind of uh, year three of our um, bringing forward different social issues that we felt like um, could, you know, use a little attention to the, the topic and um, we believe that to change, the first step in changing any uh, social issue is awareness and to address the awareness pieces you have to talk about the stigma. Um, so that's really addictions we wanted to bring forward as one of our topics for 2018. Michaela Mamer shared her own story of alcohol and drug addiction as a youth and her struggles to get to recovery. Now clean for a number of years, she's offering hope to others dealing with addictions and raising awareness of the issue during speaking engagements across the country. Yeah, the message that I'm trying to tell people is that this is a disease, um, it is a sickness, and it's, it's not something that people can just quit. I just feel like addiction is really stigmatized here. Um, there's not as much awareness. Like, there's not much in the media about it, and I just think that there needs to be more. The United Way also honored one of its long-standing board members. Archie Green has been involved with the Swift Current United Way since 1967 and was presented with a special gift, a humbling experience for Green. Well, thank you very much, Daisy and Joanna, and I'm kind of lost for words, which is strange for me. I started in 1967 when he came back from Expo. We came back to town, and a local lawyer, Larry Salome, and I knew him quite well, and he said, we would like you to come on the board and be in charge of our uh, railway section. So at that time, we had a, the railway had a pretty big staff here. And so that was, that was my start with the United Way, and I've been with them ever since. <laughs> Each year, the Swift Current United Way helps numerous agencies with their outreach programs to the community. And in 2017, 1,327 individuals from across the Southwest benefited from funding through the United Way. Frontier Days has been a tradition in Swift Current for 80 years. And as the Swift Current Ag and X celebrates this milestone in 2018, an exciting lineup of entertainment awaits you. Including the Frontier Days Parade, CCA Rodeo, Grandstand Entertainment with the James Barker Band and Bobby Wills, and the sights and sounds of the Midway. Frontier Days in Swift Current, June 28th through July 1st. Hats off to 80 years. Swift Current Broncos fans followed their hometown team to the Memorial Cup. Our Southwest TV News crew was there and we bring you some of those highlights. This Southwest TV News special feature from the 2018 MasterCard Memorial Cup is proudly presented by Chinook Refrigeration and Air Conditioning, serving Southwest Saskatchewan since 1976. The City of Swift Current, where life makes sense. And the Pioneer Co-op, proud to be in Southwest Saskatchewan for over 80 years. As the Swift Current Broncos made their way to the Memorial Cup this year for the first time since 1993, 
and a legion of local hockey fans were in the stands cheering them on. Armed with cowbells in hand, Broncos fans of all ages are loud and proud to support their team. Sergey Varlamov, look at that. Oh, the Bronco. Yep. Tyrone Shaw has been a Broncos fan since he was five years old and made the trip to Regina for his second Memorial Cup experience. Sitting with numerous other fans, they're showing their support for the Broncos in a bold way. Oh yeah, for sure. Back in Swift, everybody's used to all our horns, but like when we go to all the road games, they, they're, they're not a fan because <laughs> we got all seven of them, so we get, we get them going and it's loud. So every big play there is, whenever, <laughs> whenever we score, especially at the start of the game, we get the chant going like, let's go Broncos, and we do the horns and people got their drums, so it's, it's awesome. While for some, the trip to the 2018 Memorial Cup is a family affair. Preston Lord and his father-in-law, Ray McGregor, are experiencing the Memorial Cup for the entire 10 days. Wearing full makeup and wigs, these Swift Current fans are making the most of the experience. We were in the uh, third round and Preston says, you know, we're going to the Memorial Cup. If we get there, we're going to do all this. We're going to put hair on. We're going to do the face painting and the whole bit. And I said, okay, I'm game. <laughs> I didn't think at the time when we'd make it, but holy crap, here we are. <laughs> so no hesitation from you? In no of hesitation. That? We're having a ball. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. I just, we thought that we'd try and stand out. Oh, and mission accomplished. So it's been great. It afforded us some opportunities to get to talk to some of the media, which has been exciting for us. And exciting for everybody that we're sitting with. <laughs> Everybody's having a blast. A once-in-a-lifetime experience for many Broncos fans, showing support for their favorite team while building community pride. We built it in Swift Current, uh, Beck, Mallenstein, and yeah, it's been good. Yeah, me and my mom made this um, part, and I made this one. A Bronco fan is somebody that's proud of their community, proud of Little Swift Current, a little engine that could. And our city's been growing throughout all of this. And people are proud to be from Swift. And they're so proud of this incredible franchise. It's, uh, it just definitely wells your heart when you see this. Swift Current Broncos fans, the loudest and proudest in the league, making the 2018 Memorial Cup an experience to remember. Frontier Days has been a tradition in Swift Current for 80 years. And as the Swift Current Egg and Egg celebrates this milestone in 2018, an exciting lineup of entertainment awaits you. Including mini chuck wagon and wild pony races, and the FMX motocross show. And dance the night away during two exciting cabarets, featuring Mitchler Rock and the 454 Band, and the Chris Buck Band. Frontier Days in Swift Current, June 28th through July 1st, Hats off to 80 years. As the temperatures heat up in the coming weeks and you're spending more time outdoors, wearing a hat and sunscreen should be top of mind. As the temperatures heat up for another summer season, skin safety should be top of mind for all ages. Whether you're out for a leisurely walk or a day at the beach, protecting yourself from the sun should always be a top priority. According to the Canadian Cancer Society, skin cancer is the most common of all cancers in Canada, with close to 7,000 cases of malignant melanoma diagnosed each year. Skin cancer is also the most preventable of all cancers, and it starts with sunscreen. Uh, slopping on some SPF 30 sunscreen is really important. Uh, making sure that it's broad spectrum and water resistant if possible uh, to make sure that it blocks out the UVA and B rays uh, that may be harmful to our skin. The other tip is to apply sunscreen about 20 minutes before we go outside because it takes some time for the sunscreen to fully absorb. And not only that, but to reapply. So every two hours, um, but read the instructions on the, on the bottle because it may vary from sunscreen to sunscreen. Also check the expiry date, uh, because if it is expired, then you may want to toss that out and grab a new one. And there are several other ways to protect yourself from the sun's burning UV rays. 
including knowing what the UV index is for the day. Typically, it's when the UV is three or higher is when we want to slip on some uh, clothing that covers our skin, slap on some sunscreen, slap on that hat, seek shade and slide on those sunglasses. Um, also, if it's between the hours of 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., that's typically when the sun is at its strongest. The UV would be really strong. More information on sun safety and skin cancer can all be found online. historical show in many, many ways. Yeah, it's extremely unique. Looking through here, it's kind of the story of the art in Saskatchewan. I'm Kim Hotelling, I'm the director and curator with the Art Gallery of Swift Current, and we're very pleased to present the exhibition Art for Sale. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.